Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Dan. And we are back with another classic battle report, Dan. Yeah. Dan so, loved the first one so much. Oh yes. So much. Uh, he wanted another one. We, we actually got a ton of comments about, um, in our after action report actually, about small sided classic games and, and how excited people were. Although there were also comments like, we love Alpha Strike, we want combined arms. We want to see more vehicles than mechs, and we said, "Why not both?" Yeah, Dan. yeah. Uh, so Dan, Dan sort of uh, was, was brainstorming with me on, you know, that these sort of concepts of like just a couple of mechs and a few vehicles. Um, and so the mission tonight uh, takes place on a border world between the Lyran Alliance and the Draconis Combine. The planet is Coradan. Coradan, not uh, Cooldan. Not Cooldan. Uh, Coradan. Not Long Dan either. <laughs> uh, and. Uh, the Draconis Combine is sent in a, a little raiding force uh, to basically get in, get some high priority stuff out of a convoy, and then get off the planet. Uh, you've of course detected us, and now we're on a collision course. Uh, so it's basically a take and hold mission, where it's essentially just gonna get to the middle and blow each other up. Uh, still getting our toes wet with class, but I am enjoying the small side of games. Yeah. Uh, so there's some very compelling forces. Uh, and, damn, as a defender, you automatically lose initiative. So I want initiative, guys. It happened. <laughs> it may be but you automatic. Didn't win an initiative roll. No, I didn't win an initiative roll. That hasn't happened in a while. I want a couple. No, of yeah, games. that's on your game. It's on fire. Yeah, it's on fire. I think three, right? All yeah. right. So we're gonna move on the table. We'll see if anything's in range. Likely not. Uh, this is like a icy sort of tundra esque, uh, you know, world here. There's this sort of frozen over lake. The dragon's teeth here, uh, you know, that the convoy is sort of precariously driving across. Uh, so there is no bad weather, just uh, perfect clarity, everybody can see. Uh, we are playing, again, rules is written, no extreme range, no pilot die. Uh, we're trying to just keep it as close to the book as possible for now. We use the cluster hits table. We are going to use the floating critical hit rule, uh, but we're not going to do anything uh, beyond that. We're trying to keep it, keep it simple, keep it simple, nice and basic. Keep it simple, us. stupid. That's right. For us stupid people, we're going to keep it simple uh, for us. So, that said, guys, stick around. Turn one, coming your way. All right, we are back after movement. Uh, so nobody can shoot. Nobody can see. Uh, we're not in range. Uh, I just ran. Again, playing stock rules, so basically this tech level is like 21 inches, 22 inches um, is the max here. Um, so, I've got two condors. Um, and we are using, again, the battlefield support rules, the beta ones out of the new Kickstarter. Two condors, I know these are Drillson models, but deal with it, okay? Yeah. Uh, they zipped up here behind this thing that is not an old dropship from Ironwind Metals. Um, it's actually a, a habitat uh, protecting, protecting scientists from this, this yeah. hostile environment. Uh, my Shrek moved up here, and then this warrior is zipping around. Um, so battlefield support, I, I did just double check. They do move up and down across one MP. When you come on the table, you can basically pick the level. Um, so it's at level four right now. Uh, that's where it's cruising. But what do you got going on? Uh, I just moved, I ran all my mechs in, and then so split into two away. into two uh, forces. Sun's been on our head all day. Gonna try and you know pincer maneuver. Hell, pincer man. Yeah. Okay. I doubt it's gonna work, but hmm. that's about as far as I'm. I, mean, I can't shoot you. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Unfortunately. All right. So the uh, the LRM carrier over there does in fact have indirect fire. Yes. So you don't need line of sight to shoot. I think the mana cores also have indirect fire as well. Okay. Uh, just fun fun fact for you there. All right. Well, on that note, we will move into turn two. Would you like to roll initiative on camera? Be, yeah. Be, be, be live. Nah, live. I'm not gonna be here. Ooh. See, you got cheater dice. Ten. I'm gonna get ten. New, I think I'm gonna get new yellow dice. All right, help yourself. The guys will be right back.
All right, we're back. It's turn two. Movement uh, has occurred. I won initiative, as you saw. So, Dan, why don't you let us know uh, just roughly what you did there? Uh, so, I walked both the Quick Draw and the Valkyrie. Mm. I moved all my, my tanks up and my LRM, and then I jumped the uh, Stinger. Okay. Very nice. To kind of close the gap. All right. Um, so I moved the warrior here. He's going to be taking a couple of shots, I believe, at the quick draw if it's in range. If not, um, the stinger. Uh, the hovercraft, my condor zipped up here. I'm going to try to do a flanking maneuver if I can. However, uh, they're so slow up and down the hills, and uh, they have very, very bad range. So we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Um, Shrek rumbled up, and then my two mechs ran forward. Um, not great range, like, uh, so it's 18 and 19 inch max range on those max. So I'm still still lurking outside of, of, of hittable range here, but we'll see what I can do. So that said, um, do you wanna shoot first, Dan? Yeah, so I have the LRM with the uh, quick draw. I have the LRM with the Valkyrie and then the LRM here, because I don't believe these are right. Actually, right, right. you have indirect, uh, well, 21 inches indirect fire for Eight. the Manticores. 18. That's their max range. Oh, God, Manticore. that's right. That's weird. So they actually are okay. within 18. Now, if you if you want to spot with the quick draw, which <sighs> what you would declare the quick draw is shooting, but I will I will tell you this. If the quick draw is shooting and spotting, there's additional penalty. Um, if the, if the, whoever spotting does not shoot, it's a little easier to hit. It's totally up to you. Um, uh... you, you may be able to spot with the stinger. Uh, I mean, I think this stinger yeah, can see. Yeah. All right, so say, say the same stinger is spotting for yeah. the tanks. Yeah, okay. that's what I'll say. We'll do that. Good call, boss. We'll do that. Thanks for letting me win the game. <laughs> I have to keep you interested. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so we're going to start with, we're going to, well, everything is going to be firing at the, I'm going to have these two, the quick draw and the Valkyrie are going to fire at the first. The one on the right, your left. Okay. And then I'm going to have these three fire at the one on the left, your okay. right. Sounds good. Sounds so good. we're going to start with the quick draw first. Mm -hmm. All right. And... So it's long range, right? Yes. Which is a plus four. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven is what I got? I think, yeah. Yeah, it would be at an 11. Okay. If I hit. Yeah. New no. Does not hit. All right. Now the Valkyrie. Now the Valkyrie. That'd be hitting on a 12. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's accurate. Which is nothing. Oh my. Yes. All right, so first Manticore. Now, let's, before we even do anything. Yes. And I, uh, this might be over 12 because there's skill five. Mm. We're at long range, that's nine. Yeah. 10, 11, 12 plus indirect fire is gonna put you over 12. Yes. So right. they they can't. This is this is an interesting conundrum. Yeah. I wonder if people. I know. I know they asked for feedback in the beta test, and I and I never got around to actually. We, we never really got because we were in an alpha strike kick. We didn't get around to really testing it. But I wonder if anybody tried actually indirect firing at anything beyond like point blank range, <laughs> like over a building, oh. uh, because their skill their, their their minimum skill is five. Yeah. I've upgraded them to five. Their base skill is six. Um. So, that so five, and if they're hitting anything that's like remotely fast moving, I mean, I guess that makes sense. They're just tanks after all, Dan. I mean, it's just missiles, though. Uh, so the only thing I can do is shoot back with my warrior. All right. uh, and I'm going to shoot the quick draw if I'm in range. So my warrior does have an AC2 max range of 24. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! You're so in range. Uh, are you actually in 16, though? Are you in medium? You No, but this dude is. I'm going to shoot the stinger. I already declared the quick draw though. Oh, yeah, I can't change it. That's that's classic rules. You're supposed right. to declare first. My contingency was if I wasn't in range at all, I would switch because I was lazy and didn't measure first. Um, but I, I did I did declare the quick draw, so I do need to shoot that. So um, next time, lear lesson learned, folks. Measure first and then then declare. Yeah. Don't be lazy like me. Um, so he is skill five, six, seven, elevens. Almost. Almost. <laughs> uh, uh, almost. Maybe I, I like put a hole in the water tank. <laughs> it's like a freezing on the way out. Oh. Uh, okay. So that's it. Shooting is done. This is the end of turn two. 
We're moving into turn three. No damage has been dealt As this we, day. Yes. But I think things are about to change. Dun, 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 dun. All right, so um, that's it, guys. Stay tuned. Turn three is coming up. Turn three, uh, we are back here on Korodan. Yes. Uh, this blasted tundra of Korodan. Not cool, Dan. Um, not cool, Dan. So I won initiative again. It's true. It happens. That's amazing. Uh, the luck has come around. So, Dan, tell us what you did here, um, and then we'll go from there. I made a mistake. I love to that. Declare that now. <laughs> For the dragon. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm veering off with the uh, quick uh, quick draw and the stinger to go after the, uh, the VTOL. I sent the uh, Valkyrie over to assist with the tanks because Aaron's playing games. Uh, and then I moved the tanks up the hill to, so they can Why start getting Why are you playing games, dog? Why are you playing games? So he can start getting some shots off. All right. Maybe. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. So uh, courtesy of the massive 12-inch uh, move of the Condors, I was able to get them up two levels and tuck them in behind this, uh, this building here in front of this reactor stack. Uh, which is very cool. You remember when we had that conversation about being able to blow up buildings and whatnot? Like this would be this would be ideal. Ideal, because then I would just ideal. LRM. But the you could building. blow you could blow up the building, but then you know I'd be gone. <laughs> yeah, but I mean like <laughs> I would have blown it up a long time ago. As well can I pontificate for? Can I? Can I? <laughs> can I just digress for a moment? Go for it. So what kills me is in this game. Yeah. Met, like units don't block line of sight because they're always assumed to be like they're in motion from point A to point B. But if I'm like behind that building, like you can't shoot me. Yes. It's weird, right? Yeah. Like yeah. either, it should be either or. Like yeah. either you can shoot through everything, but maybe like there's some cover bonus because there's like things interfering with the shot. I, I, I get it. I, I do. I, that's why we play mechs block line of sight. Like it's, you know, do you assume that's where you are when you pull the trigger? Yes. <laughs> what? Who am I though, Dan? That's my assumption too. Who am I? You know, you, I'm you, a nobody. You're in motion, but this is where the motion stops for the six the shot seconds, happens. and yeah. you're taking your shot. Right. All right. Anyway, so uh, Shrek rumbled forward. Helicopter zipped around. It's getting bold over there. Um, and then the guillotine and the panther in a nice tight line of breast formation, uh, bringing their guns to bear. So um, the Shrek um, is going to basically fire at the at the stinger. Let me let me measure here. I'm pretty sure I'm in range. I am. Um, and the guillotine also firing at the stinger. And the uh, panther, I have I have to measure range here. Oh, not in range. I don't think he's in range of anything there. Uh, he does have, so this is a custom panther, by the way. So it's an LRM5 instead of an SRM4, one of my favorite mods. Uh, much like your quick draws is custom, Dan. Uh, I am going to, I think, lob some missiles um, at that uh, at that mana core. Condors can shoot. Um, what are you doing with, with your stuff, by the way? So uh, with the Stinger and the uh, Quick Draw, probably a huge mistake again. We're gonna fire into the VTOL, um, okay. maybe try and get rid of that immediately. Uh, I don't believe anything can see. Nothing can see, everything's blind. But <laughs> behind, I mean, maybe this Manticore, you come tell me. All right, listen, it's up to you. If he has partial cover, you can give him partial cover. I would say that he has partial cover. All right, how much of the model can you see? Uh, I would say 50%. All right, that seems reasonable to me. So... I'm not going to fight you on it. I'm going to have it spot. Okay. For everything else. Okay. And then everything's going to fire at that guy over here. All of this. Okay, they're going to indirect fire at indirect the... Indirect fire. Yeah, yeah, very cool, very cool. <clears throat> Into the lead condor. Yes. Okay, yeah. all right, well, let's do it. Um, mm -hmm. Do you want to shoot first or shall I? Um, I'll let you so I can be angry. Okay, first yeah. sounds great. I like that. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna use my my dragon dice here. For the dragon. Oh. Warrior firing into the stinger. All right, okay. so we are at short range. Uh, so he's skill five, six, seven, six, seven. Okay, that's all I need. Oh, somehow, somehow so the close. warrior. Somehow the warrior still manages 
to miss. He's moving. Now the Shrek is at long range, uh, so it's going to be a seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven for the Shrek. Misses. That would have been awesome because it's like thirty points of damage. Uh, this dude is three, four, five, six, seven, also elevens with the ER large. Nothing. So close. Dodging bullets. And then the LRM5 into the Manticore. Uh, so that is three, four, and he dates. Much more reasonable. <laughs> Unreal. Rob. The dragon. Come on. Rob. Coordinator. It's not with me. Uh, okay. So. It's your turn. Can you shoot with that guy? No, I don't think they can see anything. Can anything see them? I mean, oh, can, you said yeah. the Manticore could see. Yeah. Uh, so I guess uh, that is thank you for being a fair and kind gentleman. Uh, yes, I'm at long range. So the lead manticore will fire. I don't know what I need. Maybe a 30. Let me roll in. That was a it's condor. A two will definitely not do it. Uh, oh, right. Condor into the manticore. Yeah. Two's not going to do it. All right. I'm done shooting for real. Okay. We'll start with... We're just going to say there was like a snowstorm, like a squall that just blew through. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Sure. You're just not bad shots. That's all. We're just not... Yeah. We're not bad shots at all. Uh, we're going to start with the uh, stinger into the VTOL. Can't believe that. Okay. He's going to be firing, I believe, because you're not. we're not within three. Definitely not within three. Absolutely not. So he will be firing with just the medium laser. Okay, and so skill four, seven, you need nines. Nines. Yeah. Tens. Because you walked. That's classic. It's plus one for walking. It's very difficult. And close, but no. Hang on a second. So four, Wait, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, you need ten. Oh, well, it's a medium, right? So yeah. it's only... Plus two. It's plus two. It's crazy. Yeah. The penalty for walking kills me. It's like... The year 3000, we haven't figured out how to stabilize our weapons yet. All right, well, that was pointless. All right. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess we'll do the... Quick draw? The quick draw. The QD. Who will be shooting at... Oh, everything. <laughs> He's shooting at everything or shooting everything? He's shooting... Uh, no, because I, I couldn't be able to... That would be way too much heat. Yeah, he could do it. Is it turn three and we haven't hit anything yet? Correct. Nobody's taken damage. Correct. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna fire. I'm gonna fire everything. Even the rear laser. Just gonna fire. <laughs> just, just, just let it go. We'll see what happens. Let's see. No. I'm just kidding about that part. All right. We're gonna start with medium lasers first. Okay. That's gonna be firing at long range. So that's probably twelve. Three, three four. <clears throat> right. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, elevens. Because he's one gunnery. One, one better than the other two. He's the lance commander. Lance. So you need elevens. How many medium so, lasers are there? Three, right? Two. Two. Two okay. medium lasers, yeah. One. And two. Oh, you got one. Got one. All right, and you want to roll the SRM4. It's the same target number. It's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So also need 11 there. No. Miss. Okay. And then the LRM5 is going to need two less. You'll need a nine, because you're probably at nine inches, right? We're at eight inches, so eight yeah. Inches, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so... Nines, right? A nine. A nine. One a nine. single nine. Come on, baby. And you I got it. it. All right, so a medium laser and the LRM 10 hit. Why don't you roll 2d6? We'll figure out how many missiles hit. 2d6. Yeah. For missiles, that is seven. A seven uh, is, so six missiles. So you're going to do two groups of five, one with for the medium laser, one for the LRM 10, and then one group of one. Uh, you don't need to roll location. Uh, so... You need to make it, this this thing needs to make a destroy check, basically, because you've exceeded the threshold. Okay. The destroy check is very, it's very hard to kill this thing. Okay. <laughs> you need to roll a four or better then. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think I got it. So the quick draw just oh, illuminates the sky. The warrior explodes shards of rudder, uh, rotor, I should say, showering across the battlefield here as this thing crashes into the rocks. <laughs> It's dead. I like it. Way to go, Dan. You yeah. killed him. I did. Freaking jerk. Maybe he got out. <laughs> right into his own <laughs> he his own. <laughs> I didn't kill him. His own. It's a Draconis <laughs> Combine ejection system. This is the, uh, the only honorable way for VTOL pilots to die. <laughs> how dare you. He said crap. from the field. <laughs> uh, all right. So now Mandacore is 
spotting for the left manacore is going to be spotting, and he's not shooting. Uh, no. Okay. He will not be shooting. Because so, I feel like it would be a waste. I mean, it, it's already going to be hard enough to hit. Yeah. Fair point. So they're going to be hitting. They're definitely within twelve. Yeah. All of them are within twelve, except for the the Valkyrie, which I'm actually going to start with the Valkyrie. I think. Okay. He will be. I think he's still in medium. Yeah. All right. Because they're fourteen. Okay, so before before we shoot the Valkyrie, Dan and I went to the book um, and we looked up how indirect fire works for these battlefield assets. A couple of things, a couple of weird things. We're learning stuff today. We're learning stuff. Number one, it, when you have the IF ability, like the Manticores, it always is 71421 range bracket. Regardless of what it says on the card, you always treat the IF attack as that, which makes sense because they're missiles. Um, secondly, they cannot move that turn. So, and they do not get their TMM. So you have to basically know you're going to indirect fire before you get to the shooting phase or even the declaration phase, which is very disadvantageous because all the vehicle assets have to move before the mechs, right? So you don't even know where things are going to end up, right? So it's a little bit of a gamble. So you really, really, you really need to be in like medium range to like guarantee an IF, right? An IF type attack. Uh, and then lastly, any vehicle assets that are spotting always count as running. So it's the, it's like plus two attack or mod, plus the indirect fire mod, plus everything else. So it's interesting. Um, sure. And then every IF point, so like IF2, for example, counts as two damage groupings of five points of damage. So the LRM carrier is IF7. It's good to deal with, if you hit with it, it does 35 points of damage, which is significant. Um, but... After after learning all this, um, Dan and I agreed that we we would we would sort of reevaluate his his decisions on on basis declarations. So that manacore uh, on the far left, on Dan's left here, that's going to be shooting directly at the condor. The LRM carrier is going to be firing at the is it with the panther or the guillotine? The guillotine. The guillotine. That other manacore can't do anything. The Valkyrie also going to fire at the guillotine. Yeah. Okay. So pick up with the Valkyrie. Do your worst. Pick up uh, now, nice. your skill four, I ran five, six. You are walking that seven, elevens. LRM 10, right? And I think it's, is it Artemis guided? Yeah, it's LRM 10. Okay. And it is Artemis guided. Okay. Oh, man. So close. Man, okay. So close. Um, now we'll do the LRM okay. carrier. Uh, he is... So five, six, seven, eight, nine, same thing, elevens. Interestingly enough. Oh god, I'm just holding my butt cheeks on that one. And then the Manticore will be firing into your Condor. Right, now those might be at medium range, yeah? Because uh, you're, yes. what are you, like uh, 6, 12, 18? Actually, yeah, they are, yeah. Okay, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. Crazy. We're like at medium range, like, oh my gosh, he's 300 meters away. There's only like a 12% chance of hitting him. <laughs> like I said, snow squall. We got uh, one thing done today. Uh, one thing done. The warrior, <laughs> the warrior is destroyed. That's a big, that's a moral victory, Dan. Uh, nobody has gotten to the, the meaty center here either. Um, so no, no uh, points have been scored on that objective. But we are going into turn four. I'm down a warrior. Uh, and it did literally nothing. So, turn four is coming up, don't go away. Okay, it's turn four. Uh, we're already tired. We're, I mean, like, whew, no, I'm, man, I'm just like, one, <laughs> oh. two, three. I'm just like, he's just doing this. And I'm spending all the time. <laughs> um, all right, so basically, I lost initiative. Condors came ripping down off that hill. Did have to expend some movement, like turning them and maneuvering them so they didn't get quite as far as I want. Plus, the two MP per level change is just like killer. But they're in range, and we're going to see if we can, we can rip up this vehicle column a little bit. 
Uh, the Panther walked forward. Uh, we'll see if he's either going to support there or put LRM's down range. I, I guess I, I need to decide in a moment here. Um, and then the Shrek is going to be firing at the quick draw. The Guillotine is going to be firing um, at the quick draw as well. So that is all I've got. Uh, and my warrior is going to remain crashed into the rocks, in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> uh, what do you got? All right, so uh, I kind of split up my... my uh, support over here, move the Dockery um, to more or less support them. I'm just going to try and lay into each one of them and just hopefully destroy. Yeah. Um, hopefully. And then with the Quick Draw and the Stinger, I move them back. Uh, just it's a bold move. The Guillotine is scary. It's got lots of medium lasers and I don't want to get with the medium range. It's with it. Guillotine, it's what? French, okay? <laughs> the crepes. The crepes. <laughs> Uh, that's so good. That's the first thing you think of. Oh my god. Uh, so hey, delicious. My my theory is, which Aaron so thoughtfully pointed out, that the, the score points I need to take like, the objective. I was like, Dan, you do realize you need to be there to score points. <laughs> MRI reply was, but if you're dead, you can't score points. That's right. So, so Dan's going to try to kill me with an LRM 10 from range. Attrition. We're yeah. going to see if this works. We'll see. All right. So uh, the combine is full of honor and zeal at the moment. Uh, and so I'll just, I'm just going to shoot first, Dan. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, now, uh, my declarations are like this. I'm going to do uh, one condor. Condors are basically going into the mana cores that are right in front of them. Um, this panther is also going to go into the man's core uh, as well. You don't think you can see? Oh, maybe you're right. <clears throat> okay. Well, then I'm going to fire an LRM5 down at the quick draw. Okay. Uh, and then everything, so everything here is going to fire at the quick draw, and then the condors are basically going to split up and, and hit those uh, hit those mana cores. Like All right. Quick draw. So here we go. Uh, we're going to do condor one. So condor one, condor <laughs> one. Uh, five, six. What's their range, Dan? Are they within three, the two close ones? You would like to know one of you. Yeah, they're definitely okay. within three. So I need a six to hit. That's like two and a half. All right. Yeah. All right. So he hits. So I get three groups of five, which is 15 points of damage uh, against the Manticore. Now, they have a threshold of five, so it'll trigger a damage check. I mean, your check is nine plus. Oh, dear God. Okay, uh, so the other one, I'm going to need a uh, eight because they're at medium range. I miss. Okay, so do we want to just roll the destroy check now? Go for it. I think you're supposed to do it at the end of the turn, but nothing else is shooting it, so I've already declared. So I need a nine or better to kill it, Dan. <laughs> it would have been so good. It would have, but... Uh, so just out. mark a box off that, and we'll remember, because it, it takes a little degradation because it survived the destruction. I'm doing the one on the right, because it's the one on the right. That's fine. Okay. Um, okay. Now, everything into this stupid quick draw. It's not stupid. It is. He's just quick. Actually, the, the panther's not even in range. That's so nice. the panther's just firing missiles nowhere. Uh, so the Shrek is uh, at long range, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I need elevens. Come on. Nope. Uh, and then this guy is going to need a three, four, fives. The same thing. Unreal. Who plays this game with the stock mods, then? <laughs> like, you literally can't hit anything. Everything's like an eleven. Well, that's why we have to hug each other. That's the only way you're going to hit. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, okay, go ahead. I feel invulnerable right now um, because there's no way you're hitting anything over here. Okay. Um, my right. condors have su sufficiently distracted your tank column long well, enough for me to. Let's establish. Let's let's test that theory. Let's test the theory. So we're gonna start with the uh, stinger. Can't shoot. Stinger can't do anything. He gets, he's just looking. Funny. He's a good guy. Yeah. He just can't do anything. It's just uh, telling jokes from the cockpit right now. So we're gonna do the LRM on the guillotine on the quick draw. Onto the guillotine, right? Okay. We're definitely with yeah. yeah, we're definitely with them. So it's still, Actually, it's still long range because they're like 18 or 19, right? Yeah. yeah. Or 17. So, so, okay. Still long range. So it's, I'm hitting that same, right? 11s. 10s. You need 10s because you walked. Nope. The snow intensifies. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. All right. So then we're going to do, yeah, that was it. That's all That's all the quick draw had. Okay. And, and then we're going to do the Valkyrie into... So I'm going to declare this now. We're yeah. doing 
the Valkyrie and this Manticore into this Condor, okay. and then this Manticore and the LRM into that guy. Got it. <clears throat> All right, uh, so let's start with the Valk. Valkyrie first. Uh, he would be firing everything. Everything. Okay. He's got a medium laser. He's got a medium laser and an LRM 10. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. On, so the, on the medium still laser. Six. Actually, yeah. 10 on the medium laser. Right. He's skill four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on the medium laser. And then that would be short range for the LRM. So eights and tens. Eight and tens. All right, so <clears throat> we'll do the medium laser first. Yep. Mess. Miss. We're gonna do the LRM 10. Okay. And that's Ooh, it. I see you switched your dice again. Yes. Well, just because I went with the green, because it's green. It's like I'm green, of, you're uh, green. Yeah. You went with your. That's not, true. You know. That's true. I was like trying to. You don't right. have a brown dice, otherwise I'd do brown. Brown. Brown, <clears throat> brown and green because it's that guy over there. All right, so. Uh, so LRM ten hits. Roll two d six for uh, clusters. That is a six. six. So that is going to be. Uh, it's going to be six missiles. So it's going to be basically. Uh, does that trigger a a check here? Uh, it does. Threshold is five plus. So. But let's see how much damage he takes. Uh, you want to fire with the uh, uh, with the metaphor? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's going to be the one on the left. So he is he's within six inches. So he took eleven. Oh uh, no, you missed with the laser. He took six so far. Okay. Yeah. So that is within six inches. Okay. So he's firing at medium or uh, short range. So five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine, ten. Okay. Right, right, right. Yeah. They're still five, essentially. Nope. No, nothing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. They're like basically right here. They can't. It's pew pew with fire on their thing. <laughs> oh, it's the movement, man. That movement gets killing it. Uh, all right. So same thing with the Manticore in. It's going to be tens as well. Okay. Nothing. All right. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Leave it in the comments now. Because I, <laughs> so many of you have asked me to play Classic, and I have... Heard the call and we were doing it. This is why I don't play classic with the rules as written. Like we are literally three inches apart and cannot hit each other because you need tens to hit. Now I know they're like skill five or whatever, but most of you play with skill four pilots. It's the same thing. Uh, How do you do it? What's the secret? I want to know. LRM. All right. It's firing into man or into the Condor. And he's at medium range, yeah. Or is he at seven? No, it's he's at eight, so it's medium range. Okay, it's medium range. Five, so, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 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 But if he hits, then. Nope. Okay. So just the one condor was was wounded here. Now his check is only a six plus. They're very fragile. So a six or better, Danny, you destroy the condor. You do not. The condor survives. It takes a, a point of degradation here. But it is it is up and humming, <laughs> just zipping through the snow, doing donuts. Uh, all right, okay. All He's right. got his finger out the window. He's waving to you though. DFAing this. <laughs> the hovercraft. I think builds like a ramp out of snow. <laughs> DFAs the the Valkyrie. Uh, Only in the novels. Can't do that on the tabletop. Uh, so everything shot. Yep, everything I can. Getting closer to turn five. Now the question is, am I within three inches of the objective? I am not closer to you. I am not. I am not. So no points scored yet on the primary side, but next turn it looks like uh, I will. So we'll move on to turn five. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. All, All right, right, guys, here it comes. Welcome back, adventurers. We're here with turn five. Um, so it's a, it's a mess. I don't this, even I don't even know what's this happening. This is an epic story. This is like <laughs> the worst pilots in the history of the world uh, face off on the icy planet of Kordan. Um, so uh, I want initiative. 
uh, but I'll tell you what I did because special treat. Uh, basically, the, the condors are, are causing mayhem in the back lines there. Uh, moving in, trying to get in short range of things. Dan, of course, being a jerk with his Valkyrie. Um, the Shrek moved up, still has line of sight on the quick draw, but the running stinger uh, just beyond, uh, you know, beyond the hill there. Um, the guillotine, I don't know what I want to shoot with the guillotine yet, or the panther. I may, I may just stay on that, um, that, that quick draw here, but I would love if anything else was in range, but the last, I don't think they are. So, I think we're probably just going to put guns into, uh, into that quick draw, uh, continue to do that from these two guys, and the condors, uh, firing at, uh, uh, at the, the, uh, manticore. And then I think the other one's actually going to do a full terror twist and fire into the, uh, the Valkyrie. So the way the battlefield assets work, all their damage is on a turret unless they don't have a turret, which it'll explicitly say no turret uh, in, the, in the card. So, Danielson. Uh, I still stick to my second turn when right. I said I made a mistake. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. But we'll see. We'll see how it's going to work out. Well, um, the good news is if you can destroy all three of these units, I won't get an objective point this turn. <laughs> yeah, with this, with how we're going, I don't I don't even think these guys are in each other. There are sports, <laughs> there's, there's, out there. Watch the mess. It'll be glorious. <laughs> just throwing it out there. Um, uh, no, for the most part, I just, as you said, I already moved the Valkyrie behind your, uh, mm -hmm. to be a jerk. The Manticores are basically just probably going to lay into that one particular yeah. Um, Condor and an LRM. I may fire the guillotine. Otherwise, I'm probably going to fire at the Condor. Okay. Um, I might just fire everything at that Condor to get one out of the out yeah. of the picture. Do you want to shoot first? Uh, yeah, I could do that. Or would you like me to shoot first? No, I'll shoot first. All right. I'll shoot Han, first. Han shot first. Yeah, we'll do the uh the Valkyrie first. Okay. Into the rear of that Condor. Okay. Um, it's going to be firing both, but it does get a penalty for the LRM ten. Correct. Dude, that's gonna be a ridiculous penalty. I'm still gonna try. Okay. Yeah. Are you so it's plus one per like per starting at six. So it's like six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh yeah. You're like a plus six. Yeah. Nine. It's gonna like it's unhittable. All right. But you can fire a medium laser. <laughs> it's so silly. It's so silly. It's crazy, I know. All right, so we'll fire the one single medium laser, uh, which is short range. Yeah. Obviously. So, uh, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight. An eight to hit. Still, Still less than a 50% chance. Why even roll two dice? Why even roll two dice, Dan? <laughs> He's got a lock on me. <laughs> He's got a lock on me. Uh, all right, the two manticores. Uh, we're going to fire first manticore at at said um, condor. Okay. Which is... So that one's just a, that's also an eight. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Everything is eights. Eight across the board, guys. Ooh, Finally hit something. something. All right. That's, that's the one that took damage as well. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna fire the second manticore. Can it fire it through? Do we do? Okay. I mean, by raw, yes. All right. They don't block line of sight. We're gonna fire that into the. Uh, and I'm still sticking with the LRM's gonna fire into that condor as well. The LRM like, carrier. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. I didn't declare that. So this is gonna be an eight. That's by like a ten. I think you're you're. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, the LRM, LRM carrier, carrier. I think you're you're within seven, right? Yeah. So you're at short range. There's no minimum on the carrier, interestingly enough. So, um, which is actually a huge benefit. Oh, I'm sure God. that's a hit. So that's three groups of what? What's that? Three LRM groups of carrier? nine. Three groups of nine. So that's twenty-seven and eleven is thirty-eight points of damage. Yes. I'm like pretty sure you're not going to fail your destroy check. Do you want to just make it now? Yes. Okay, go ahead. You, I think you need a three or better, if my math serves me right. That'll do it. Uh, so the condor is destroyed. First condor is down. Tears. Now see, I didn't directly declare with the uh, quick draw and the stinger, but I did say I was gonna shoot at that particular condor. You did. So I assume we stick to that then? That is how, that is how the game works, <clears throat> unfortunately. Right. So, um, silly. I agree. That's what's that's what's nice about is. Alpha Strike is you have the flexibility. Yeah. But yeah. in Classic, it's just like everyone's like shooting. I mean, I can still roll for my shot to make myself feel better. <laughs> you watch uh, straight 12s. Yeah. Uh, get them all out of your system. Oh. All right. So, I'm going to start with the Far Condor firing at the Valkyrie. So, five, six, seven is what I need. 
three groups of five if I hit. I hit. All right, it's the first time I hit, I think, this whole game, right? It's, um, I'm right, yeah. Well, either way, I got an eight, but five, yeah, six, seven. That's it, this is range of zero. Okay, so it's uh, it's three groups of five. I'm gonna roll for location on the Valkyrie. Are you ready, Dan? No. Head. Uh, so that is right torso, left leg, and left torso. <laughs> All right, so that's five, right? Yeah, all, all groups of five, and then this other condor, the dead condor, into the damaged manticore. I don't know what he needs. Uh, five, six, I think sixes. Got it. So that's fifteen points of damage. So that means you'll make. Uh, I need to make a destroy check minus one, essentially. Uh, so minus one to your. Well, it's already down to seven, right? Seven. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's down to eight, yeah. so it would go down to seven with the other with thing. Okay, so why don't I make that destroy check now since nothing else is shooting at the at the vehicles? So I need a seven or better, Dan. God. All right, so one Manticore down. The Valkyrie took some damage, uh, but another Condor destroyed as well. Now let's see if I can put some fire on this, uh, this quick draw. So the first thing is this Shrek. Five, six, seven, eight for cover, for partial cover, and then range. Uh, are you at 12 or 18? Okay, so you're 12, so I need 10s, right? You said eight, five, nine, five yep. six, seven, eight, nine, tens. This is three groups of 10 if I can land it, Dan. He doesn't like it. Why not? Why not? Here it comes. Why not? All right, ready? Nope. Mm. Against a quick draw, three groups of 10, three sparkling PPCs, <laughs> right torso. Right torso again, Dan. Is that internal? Yep. Why not? Last one, center torso. Woo! Okay, now, uh, I get to confirm a critical hit. Do not confirm, Dan. So man. All right, here we go. Now we're just gonna home in on your right torso. <clears throat> so I think I am at where are we at? We're 13 inches there. Uh, ER large. That is actually medium range. 14 is medium range. So uh, three, four, five, six for walking. Seven for cover. Eight, nine. I need nine. ER large. Miss. Uh, and then the panther. So the PPC is at long range, and LRMs or everything's at long range. So that's, uh, he's also three, four, five, six. I need tens. I need tens, right? Okay. Miss, LRM, miss. Okay. So that is the end of the turn, Dan. Nothing else. I score an objective. Point. Damage your quick draw. I feel good about that. I got internal on the, on the one side. If I can keep that up, that'll be good. But another condor down. Your LRM carrier is uh, is looking fresh. So we'll see what happens. Uh, turn six, right? One turn six. Turn six already. All right, guys, don't yep. go away. Yep. Six, Dan. It is turn six. Movement's always so intense. It is. Uh, but we're here now, and we're ready to go. So the guillotine ran forward. The panther sort of swept around, maintaining a little bit of range to cover that objective. Um, the Shrek is sort of rumbling up, coming over the rise of that hill, um, and the condor zipping around. Uh, I, I spent about seven or eight inches of movement and then turned it a whole bunch to make sure that uh, its rear arc was not facing anything, which is exciting. Um, your Valkyrie, what's that doing out there? I don't even know. It's having a good time. He's just having a good time. It's making snow angels. 
He's moving up. Uh, I, I was originally thinking of just firing onto the uh, Condor, but I think with the Valkyrie, I might split fire him. I'm unde undecided quite yet. Okay. Um, between shooting at the guillotine and the Condor, or just shooting everything at the Condor. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can certainly do a secondary um, target in the forward arc. It's a plus one. Um, so if you want to do like the medium laser, the Condor, yeah, it'd be an additional plus one there. Um, or you can make the DNT the secondary target, whatever's whatever's more numerically. Let you also start uh, deciding on the. All right. Well, I, I'm pretty clear on what I'm going to do. So this Condor is going to fire into the Manticore that is at point blank, mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to need sixes. So we're going to start there. Uh, I hit. So that's 15 points of damage. That's the only thing that's going to fire at that Manticore. So I'll make the, de the destroy. <sighs> the destroy check now gotcha which um if i'm not mistaken so it's three groups of five that puts it over the 11 to 20 threshold so it's going to reduce the target number by one so i need an eight okay. to destroy it i didn't get it all right so it does degrade by one uh but the mana core is still uh rumbling around now the shrek is going to fire again at its buddy um the quick draw Two things. One, I do love that 3D print, but I am more excited for the new Kickstarter model, if I'm, if I'm going to be honest. I may replace it. We'll see. Uh, so we are at short range, which is exciting. Six inches, uh, which is which is a beaut. Five, six, seven, eight is what I need to hit. This is a big one. This it could is. be this could it be is. devastating for the quick draw. I got it. Yep. All right. So that is three groups of ten. Triple PPCs. Hitting the quick draw. What's the point value on that thing? Uh, so it is 34 points in support value cost. You multiply that by 20 to get to battle value. So what is that? 680, which is still a basement bargain in my opinion. Yeah. However, yeah. they move like turds. That doesn't seem to make a difference. If you put fire into them, like, you know. No, I it listen. Is, okay. I talk about Shreks and Classic all the time. Like you can get two of them for the cost of an awesome, and they never build up any heat. I think they're phenomenal. I no, they are. I all right. Wish change my mind. Leave it in the comments. <laughs> um, even even not in the support value form. Even in their regular, yeah, yeah. I think they're they're amazing. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you just drop thirty points of damage on here it comes one roll. So first location, I need right torso six. There it is. I call it a Dan. 10 points to the right torso. Is it destroyed? Nope. Ah, oh, damn. Keep so I destroy that, it oh, rips, rips the arm on. off with it. Keep on rolling. An 11, that is left arm. That's that's garbage. That's garbage, nobody wants that. And then six, no, four, that's right arm. Boo. However, I do generate a critical, Dan. I do generate a critical hit. Which I'm excited about. Me too. Uh, I'm gonna roll a 12. An eight, that does confirm. Now, on the torso uh, section, do you have inner, outer, or are they all roll agains on the four to six? Uh, four to six for the right torso? Yeah. It's all... Is it all roll agains or yeah. no? Yeah, yeah, it's all armor. It's all, okay. it's all ferro fibers yeah. or whatever? So okay. Again. So then I'll just roll the 1d6, it'll apply to the top table. Mm -hmm. Three. That is lower arm actuator. No, no, that's the arm. You gotta go to oh, the oh, torso. Oh, sorry, torso. Where so is the right torso? That would be the laser, it's gone. Okay. Cool. One medium laser destroyed. Didn't need it anyway. Didn't need it anyway. Um, okay, so that's the Shrek. Very well done there. Now comes the, uh, so the, the, the Panther, is going to fire at the quick draw. Uh, because again, we're not playing that units block line of sight, mm -hmm. so it can just shoot through the phantom guillotine <laughs> sure. and hit the quick draw. Now, makes sense. Um, makes perfect sense. Makes absolute sense. So we're at nine inches then. Uh, nine inches is gonna be medium range four for both, for both uh, the LRM five and the PPC. So we're gonna start with the PPC He's skill three, six. I walk that seven. I need nines. PPC first hits. LRM five does not. PPC hits the nine, which is the left leg. And that's, that's how much damage? That stinks. Uh, ten. That is not ideal. That is not ideal. Um, okay, now the guillotine. 
I thought you fired it already. No, that was no, the... I did not. So the guillotine is going to alpha strike. Uh, that's uh, ER large. It's going to be four mediums and an SRM six. It'll build up five points of heat. I'm going to mark that now. Here we go. I'm going to need a uh, three, four, five, six, seven. I need eights for basically everything. Here we go. I'm going to start. I'm just going to go down the list. ER large hits, uh, medium hits, medium misses, medium hits, uh, medium misses. That was four mediums, right? I think so. SRM six hits. All right. So I think I hit with two mediums, an ER large, and an SRM six. I think you hit everything. No, I missed at least one thing. Did no, you? I don't remember. Now you're confusing me. Let's just see what happens. So SRM six, I'm gonna roll for how many missiles hit? That's all six. Means I gotta roll all those locations, Dan. How about we roll everything and get to that? Because if you blow it up, I'm just okay. Uh, we'll start with the ER large. That's a seven. That's center torso. That's gonna take eight points of damage. All right. I think I have. Well, let's see what happens. Six, five points of damage. That's on the right torso. Five points? Yeah. Go on. One, two, three. It goes to the CT outside. Four, five. Okay. Uh, another medium laser. Floating critical. Which goes to the center torso. And so that's how much? Five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So now I've generated two critical hits on the center torso. Uh, so let me just roll the locations for the SRMs. Here we go. Uh, left arm, that they all take to two points each. Left arm, left torso, right leg, left arm, right torso, which goes to the center torso. It's another potential crit. How many was that? That was three, right? Yep. Another one of the center torso. That's four crits. Right arm. Is that it? Or one more? I don't even know. I need one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. yeah, one more. It's floating critical to the right leg. So two to the right leg? Yeah. So what is it? Four criticals on the CT? Yeah. And a critical on the right leg? Yep. Okay. Classic. We love it. Okay. So critical confirmation. We're going to do all four CTs first and just tally up the critical confirmations. One. Oh God, uh, that's four, five, six potential. So six critical hits on the center door. So, uh, so the red one will be the inner outer dice, right? So one to three, four to six, and the white one will be the number. So inner four. So one to three, number four. Uh, buh, 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 buh. This is for the center. Yeah. One to three. Yeah. So the one to three, and then the number four. Up to the top, the top grouping is one to three. Oh, yep, and then the number one. four. One to three, so... What's the number four one? Is that engine? Yeah, it's yeah. a gyro. Oh, it's a gyro? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't get my head around that for a second. I don't... Another gyro. Another gyro. So it's gyros destroyed. No, there's still one more. Uh, no, they only take two hits. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, so, so number six on the bottom grouping. That's SRM4. Okay. Go on. Didn't need that. Uh, number two on the top grouping. That's the uh, fusion engine. Yeah. And we said there were six criticals, right? Yep. Dear God. Uh, top grouping number six. Uh, that is another gyro. Okay. Top grouping number three. Top grouping number three, that is the engine. Okay. Uh, hang on. Do you That's... think you can blow it up? I mean, legitimately. You, you, you had all of them. I mean, it's possible. And then the the critical confirmation on the leg does not confirm. Um, so it, it's gyro is destroyed. It has two engine hits. Mm -hmm. It is going to automatically fall over mm -hmm. at the end of the turn, which it could get destroyed if it lands on its torso, which would be funny. It's a very fun way to die. Uh, but I'm done shooting, Dan. <laughs> oh... 
All right, we'll start with the Manticore, who's going to be firing into the Condor. LRN is going to be firing into the Guillotine. Uh, both the Stinger and the uh, Quick Draw are going to be firing into the Guillotine. And Wait, the Manticore is firing into the Guillotine or the, the Condor? Condor. And the LRM Kyra is firing into... Gotcha. Okay, gotcha. And then, so basically, and they're split firing. No, I'm actually going to fire that into the Condor. Okay. Just to hopefully... Yep. All right, well, let's start with everything going into the Condor then. Start yeah, with the Manticore, Manticore first. Yep. Uh, eights, right? No. Mm -hmm. uh, tens, right? Eights, you got it. Doesn't matter. Uh, Valkyrie. So Valkyrie is going to need uh, four, five, six, seven, eights. Are they within three-ish? Yeah. 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 So, so, four. So, so it's still going to take two for the LRMs. So okay. Take a negative two or whatever you want. Sure. To call Additional two. So let's call it, let's call it ten. You need tens then because you're at medium range for the medium laser. All right. So, so you need tens for both. Tens for both. Ooh, One you that hit. would probably well, I mean, would be the laser. Sure. And then. All right. And then this is what the LRM. So laser will trigger a check, uh, a destroy check. It is a medium pulse laser. Oh, it's a medium pulse. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, that's minus two to hit. So I just realized that. Yeah. He didn't have it set the pulse. <laughs> uh, so I might have actually hit last just, time. He just had it set the bake. Uh, so, I mean, it still would have hit anyway, so. Lessons learned. Yeah, I didn't realize it was the QD. Um, I okay. just looked at it too. I was so. Like, yeah, whatever. The pulse laser would hit those six points of damage. Still triggers a destroy check. Dan, if you get a six or better, it's destroyed. There you go. Only, Condor destroyed. Only took Victory point awarded, Dan. Yeah. Do you feel better about your life? No. <laughs> oh. All right, so LRM into the guillotine. Okay. That is definitely me. Five, six, seven, yeah, like eight nines, I guess. Yeah, it's definitely me. Well, that's, I, I should have moved it forward a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah, that's definitely medium. So, okay. sevens, right? Nines. Nines. Yeah. I knew that. <gasps> These green dice have betrayed you, Dan. Oh, any dice have betrayed me. I don't like. I don't like classic. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like I'm it. gonna go home. All right. So, <laughs> quick draw into the 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 guillotine. He's like just gutted, dude. Has that LRM hit anything? Gyro fell off. What's that? Has that LRM, LRM hit anything? No. I don't think like. No, nah, dude. It's that's tough. like yeah. It's. No, it's really it's it's a we'll talk about it a little bit at the end, but yeah. I have some I have yeah. some thoughts to share. Yeah, me too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so uh we're gonna be starting with the quick draw. Okay. It's firing everything, including rear lasers. Because Just because. Yeah, it's a rave. <laughs> boop, boop. Um he's uh what did we say his gunnery was? It's gunnery three. Three. So six. But you jumped. So yeah. you're basically at a six to start. Six, seven, eight. Your base is eight plus range. So everything, everything's at short. Everything's at short range. You need eights for everything except the LRM. You need elevens. Yeah, eights and eleven. All eights right. So we'll fire eight. everything and then we'll do the LRM at the end. So we'll do right. medium, two medium uh, lasers first. All right. One, two. <laughs> uh, the SRM four. We're gonna do that. This guillotine is walking through fire. Oh, you hit! Finally oh hit my something. Gosh. All right, you want to roll for the LRM? Yeah. Also needs elevens. Eleven. Should he use that for the LRM? He's like no. Yeah. All right. So SRM four. Roll two d six to determine how many missiles hit. Uh, so six, that's going to be two of the four missiles land. So roll two locations on the guillotine. Four five is right five. leg. And 11. That is left arm. The missiles are like... Did I hit any of the missiles? Or any of the lasers? I didn't. I hit missiles. Missile missile yeah. Lasers, yeah. Cool. <laughs> so cool. So cool. So cool. Uh, and then the stinger, we're going to be firing everything. Even the anti-missile system. Okay. Uh, so Seems reasonable. That is uh, a short range for everything. We're going to start with the flamer first. 
So that's still going to be six. Well, you're at long range with the flamer because it's one, two, three. I'm not, that's it. I think you're at three inches. Two, boy. Or two, all right. Yeah, look at that. That's fine. Look at that. He's trying to rob me of an inch. I, that's fine. It's I'm medium two. range. So he's a seven, eight, nine, mm. ten, eleven is what you need. Somehow. We're standing right next to each other. Ooh, almost. Almost. Almost doesn't cut it. Can't almost, take that to the bank and cash it in. Can I, can I cash in almost? All right, medium, so medium. It's going to be... That's going to be significantly easier. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, that's. I don't think I hit him with anything. Right? Sorry, Dan. That that quick draw got gutted. Things are not looking good here for Winfield's regiment on this planet. Uh, but turn seven is coming up, guys. Uh, let's see what is happening next. Stick around. Dan is going to cook up a brilliant counterattack. No doubt. Well, do we want to roll to see if the uh Oh the quick draw, yeah, yeah he falls down. Right. Let's Oh wait, don't go anywhere. <laughs> don't get your popcorn yet. So wait a minute now. No, uh, I want to roll now. So I'm Gyro now. was destroyed. It's an automatic fall. Okay. Uh so you need to make a roll to see if the pilot takes damage. What okay. Do I, okay. So you got seven. Yep. Now gyro to the gyro to avoid damage is plus six, so his piloting is a four, so he takes damage. Cool. So, Dan, up here under the pilot, you're going to mark off the one and the three vertically down. Now, you need to make a check if you roll under eight. So, basically, you have to make a three or better. Wait, where are you? Right up here. Right where it says where are you, Dan? Yeah, and this is the one and three just mark straight through down that. All right, so that's the first, first hit. Oh, just the, the one, one and three. Yep, okay. exactly. So, roll 2d6. If you get a snake eyes, your pilot blacks out. Nice. He does not. So you do automatically fall. Now, we have to roll to see which direction you fall, Dan. So roll 1d6. So three. That is, uh, you face two hexes to the right. So that is going to be one, two, and then you fall down. Donk. So you do fall on your right side. Uh, which means roll 2d6 for location. Now, right side, eight. Eight. Is center torso, Dan. Cool. How many pips do you have left in this? Cool. Seat? Wait a minute. <laughs> you know what I don't remember is how much damage you take from falling. Tell me um, it's at least 10. Because then you'll just make my day. Oh my god, it's so good, Dan. It's so good. Uh, let's see. Let's see, page 57, it says this. So, falling damage to a mech, uh, one point for every 10 tons, rounding up. Okay, so that is gonna be 6.5, uh, so round it up to seven. So you're gonna take a group of five to the CT. That's it? Okay. All right, and then what you're gonna do, Dan, is you're gonna roll for the second group of two points of damage. Go ahead, roll those up. Come on, CT. Nine, which is left torso, unfortunately. Now, there is a potential for a critical hit, though, in that CT, Dan. I roll that, not you. I roll it. No, I roll it. Right. <laughs> I mean, it should be me, but by all means, uh, please roll to destroy your own mech. Uh, uh, see, that's no good. Six. Go ahead, you can roll. Right. I just I just want to be... Nah, six. <laughs> uh, nice gods have spoken. All right, so um, the quick draw is down. Uh, and but not out. We can't get back up. There's no gyro. Yeah, you drag um, himself. He is also going to build up 10 points of heat in addition to alpha strike in this turn. Uh, so it's going to be very fun. So yeah. stay tuned for the damage report. This is going to be a good <laughs> one. Desperate times, turn seven, Dan. 
Um, so desperate for you or desperate for me? <laughs> not desperate for me. I feel great. Um, oh. There's a couple stupid hovercrafts got destroyed. Everything else is intact. I am down to only three units, though. Um, I did forget about that. That poor warrior. Pilot. Pilot's just, like, skewered on his rotor blades. I totally forgot about that, too. He just got yeah. totally ineffective. Yeah. Um, so we were looking up the shooting while prone rules. When your gyro is destroyed, you can still, you can shift one hex facing. You can't get back up um, and you can still shoot. So you're still in the fight. Um, we are going to use, just for, for the sake of like fun, uh, we will use the one arm shooting optional rule where you can prop yourself up with one arm. Normally... I have one arm destroyed, you can't even prop up. Like, in, if, you, if you lose an arm in your gyro, like, you're basically, like, just nothing. a heap of nothing. Yeah. Um, so he'll be able to prop up and just shoot the chest-mounted LRM uh, and see if he can hit something. There's a plus three uh, penalty uh, for that. Um, I want initiative. I moved some things around. Um, the, the guillotine and the Shrek are pressing that LRM carrier, really the last remaining big damage threat. Um, the Panther holding down the objective. I already have two objective points. Um, Panther is going to shoot at the Stinger. Uh, and I believe the, the Shrek is going to fire at um, the uh, LRM carrier. And the Guillotine is going to fire at the LRM carrier as well. Um, so, that said, Dan, what did you do? Uh, yeah, I laid there. <laughs> Taking a nap, uh, secretly, just waiting for the actual trap to spring. But uh, I just, uh, it's a, you know, fighting retreat at this point, just trying to not die, I right. guess. Right. It's not going to happen. But uh, the plan is to have the Stinger and the LRM fire into Guillotine, and then the Manticore and the Valkyrie are going to fire into the Shrek, see what I can do. And then, surprise, we're going to have the uh, Quick Draw. He's going to fire into the... Um, Right. Wolfhound? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, Panther. No, Panther, sorry. Because Wolfhound would actually... I mean, they look very similar. <laughs> I will give you that. They, they do look very, yeah, very similar. Yeah, except for the Panther is actually useful as well. the Wolfhound is. the Wolfhound? Uh, you're one-sided on that one. Less than Dan. Uh, it is what it is. Also, let's not forget the quick draw build up some heat, so there's an additional plus one penalty from the heat from the gunnery. Well, you said it was ten, and then... And he fired everything, right? Yeah. Well, except for the lasers, which would have put him at thirteen, so it wouldn't, right. he wouldn't have... All right. But his threshold is 26, so he would have been... Oh, he's got double heat sinks. Yeah, so he would not have built up any. Oh, well then. Yes, sorry. Those, I don't mean to put, put no, no. a place on that one, but... Oh, no, no. Okay. I ran around with a pulse laser not knowing it was a pulse laser. No, the, yeah, well, that's fair. Sorry, yeah. Okay, I didn't realize that thing had double heat sinks. So yes, that's, yes, that's pretty yeah. good. Oh, yeah, so he's he's in good shape then. Okay. Um, <laughs> That seems, like, ridiculous. Then. 26, it really just fits 26. Yeah. 26. Can it even build up anywhere close to yeah. that? Yeah. Even if you shot the rear one, it still wasn't enough. So, <laughs> I mean, I guess when you jump, although you jump, that built up an additional five, but even still. Yeah. Okay. So there is no, I, I retract that. I'll shoot first. Go for it. Or do you want to shoot first? Why don't you shoot first? I'll shoot first. And it's then, like, you know. And then we'll just end it there without yeah. you shooting. <laughs> and we start, you would just shoot me and I'd be like, all right, we're done. Uh, we surrender. <laughs> I surrender. Uh, LRM carrier is firing. It's definitely within. Um, all right. Short range. Yeah, now the guillotine did have a heat penalty um, to movement, um, but was still able to generate the plus two with running. So that um, is going to be five points of heat. So five, six, seven. You're at short range? Eight. Uh, I think just sevens, right? Because you're at short range. Oh, yeah, because they don't get a penalty for moving. That's right. right so yeah, That's sevens. Right. Yeah. Just sevens. This could hurt the guillotine. This makes complete sense. And he's gonna... I'm, I'm rooting for you. All right. right. All right. So hit. three groups of nine. Let's we see what happens. finally hit. Watch, he'll take his head off. 12, 12, 12. Do you imagine? Uh, uh, I can imagine. I just don't think it's really going to happen. So that's nine. 11. That is left leg. That's a nine, right? Yeah, that's yeah. a nine. <laughs> okay. Second group of missiles. Oh, my God. That's a 10. Oh, boy. I saw the six. Eight, nine. Okay, that's left arm and then right torso. One, seven. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then uh, we're going to do the stinger into the, the guillotine. The guillotine as well. So medium laser that probably I'm going to estimate is at seven and a half inches. Hey, it's pretty good of you. Yeah? yeah. Am I close? Yeah. 
Look at that. Almost spot on. Back in the day, I was like uh, very good at one. Remember when when in 40K, the the artillery was all guess range? Yes. Yeah. Do you remember that? I was very good at that. Um, that. So that's going to be long range. Uh, Okay. So that's uh, that's long range. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What's that for? The ten, eleven. Uh, his running mod. Oh, okay. Right. Did right, you right. factor? Did you factor that in? Maybe? Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Nope. Well, three's not gonna hit anyway. Nope. Uh the Manticore who's firing into the Shrek. Oh, the Shrek. This could Never. be. This could be the end of the Shrek. You just never know. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't. That's, Medium range. Uh, yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. It's reasonable. 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 No, nope. not reasonable. Valkyrie. Valkyrie into the mantle or into the Shrek. Now the Valkyrie, you know, it's funny because we were treating the range brackets all wrong anyway with the pulse laser, so it may have netted out because the pulse laser is shorter. It's like one, you know, it's like two four six, not yeah. two six nine. Yeah. So it's yeah. not going to be able to be in range of the uh, of the Shrek. It's like. Yeah. You know, but it's probably medium range for the LRM. Definitely. So, uh, so. four, five, six, ten. No, sorry, eight. <laughs> oh, it's classic. You never know. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't Man. matter. Oh my god, have you hit anything this whole game? Uh, we have to the the quick draw. Quick oh, quick. he's got yeah, yeah. The quick, quick draw is firing into the. Uh, the Panther, Wolf Panther, the Wolf Panther. Um, <laughs> uh, so he's at that's right. Um, so he's like at short range. This is called short range. Okay, all right, you're nice. Uh, and we're gonna say he's skill three, four, five, six for one arm prone shooting, and then seven for the Panther. You need a seven. That's the best I've had all day. All day. Yeah. I might as well just lay it on the ground to start. How is it so low? What are we forgetting? Nothing. I don't think so, right? Hmm. Any hits? Yeah. Even if you're at medium range, you would have hit. So uh, the only time you can hit is when he's like legless, <laughs> armless, <laughs> sensors gutted, gyro, oh, and pieces on the ground. You learn how to don't worry, it. guys. I got this. <laughs> I'm a battle-hardened veteran now. All right. So 2d6 for the cluster hits, please. 2d6. So six, six, that's gonna be five missiles if I'm not mistaken. Six missiles. Six missiles. Uh, so, fantastic. So you're gonna do a group of five and a group of one. Against the Panthound. Five. Five. That is a right leg. And then that is six. Six, that's a right torso. Such a such a desperate display. Cause you just like, like that's everything. Sprays a couple missiles out of his chest. Okay. So um, I probably don't even want to roll. You know, just done with the whole shaking. Of the actually, can I, can I shoot the the <laughs> quick draw with the panther just to end him? I think that'd be more cinematic. Go we're gonna it. end with that though. We're gonna sure? start. You don't with wanna, the, you we're don't gonna start shoot? with the Shrek into the oh. LRM carrier. All right. So uh, five six. I, we're probably at, I'm going to say we're at medium range. I think um, you, you moved as well, right? So it's probably 12 for you to hit. It's probably 12. Uh, probably 12 or, or 8. Uh, a 10 will do it. So that's going to be 30 points of damage to that LRM carrier. And then with the uh, with the guillotine, what we're going to do is I'm going to cool off a little bit. I'm going to fire everything except the ER large laser. Um, so... And that's going to need, um, so three, four, five, six for running. And we're going to say we're at, what is our range like? So we had six or seven. Oh, six. Okay. So. Oh, you're talking about the E team. Yeah. I'd imagine you blowing it up with the Shrek fire. Well, it's got to take a check. So all the damage it takes is cumulative and reduces that destroy check okay. down. Okay. Makes it easier for me. All right. Uh. Plus, you already declared it, so. I did. Yeah. Well, I did. I think you should not. So, I, need, I think I need eights, right? Is that what I said? Eights. Here we go. Sounds Four good. Four medium lasers. One, two. That's one hit. Three, four. All right. Uh, this guillotine is on fire. So, that's three medium laser hits. And then 
The SRM also hits, and that's going to be nine out of six is five more damage. Actually, that's 10 damage, so because of two per missile. So uh, 25 more points of damage, so it took 55 points of damage, which will reduce the destroy check by five. What's the destroy check on the LRM carrier? Six. So you it's roll. Dead. Oh, I rolled a 12. It's <laughs> so the LRM carrier takes just a barrage of fire from the guillotine and the Shrek in a coordinated assassination and goes up in smoke. Uh, ammunition ripping through the side armor of that poor little carrier. So now we are going to try to finish off this quick draw uh, in true Draconis Combine style, the Panther uh, is going to aim at that quick draw and fire. So uh, it is prone, which means because I'm not standing next to it, it actually is harder to hit. Um, okay. Don't ask me. It's basically like, you know, it gets a plus one. So I'm a three, four, five. It's holding up a rock. Plus I'm range. Behind the rock. <laughs> right. Uh, so you're you're at five inches. Uh, well, actually, you're like at six inches. So short range. So I need fives and sixes, right? Three, four, five. I need fives and sixes. Five with the PPC. Six with the LRM. Got them both. All right. So PPC. Can I roll a center torso, Dan? Oh, can you? Let's see. A ten. Left arm. Oh God, help us. <laughs> Uh, is, wait, is the left arm destroyed? It uh, is not. No, it's not. It is not. Oh my god. How much damage was it? Ten. So, one. Now it is. Alright, so now, as he's like propped up on his arm, the pilot just BOOM! Face down on the ground. Now you can't get up. For sure. For sure. Now the panther is gonna stand on the top of your mech. Oh, oh, that's rude. And then make you eject. You still have to make your second shot. You might blow me up. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a fair point. All right, so let me see how many missiles hit. Uh, five on the five is just three missiles, Dan. Three damage, two. The left torso. That's it, just three damage? Yeah, that's going to go outside. That's not internal yet. Oh, oh right, right, right. Yeah. But, uh, hilariously enough, the quick draw still lives. <laughs> uh, but will most certainly be a prisoner of war here. Uh, as the Draconis Combine will capture him, no doubt. Now, uh, here we are. It is turn the end of turn seven. I have now scored three objective points uh, in this take and hold mission. I think the Panther uh, clearly securing the central region. The LRM carrier destroyed. Uh, the, the, the Man's Corps and the Valkyries sort of out of the, uh, out of the con contestation range, or contesting range, I should say. So off to sea, Dan. Turn eight's coming up. What do you think? I think uh, I think we're gonna win. Dan thinks he's gonna win. Guys, stay tuned. <laughs> we will be right back. All right, here we are on the battlefield of Cordan. Not cool, Dan. No, not at all. Not cool at all. <laughs> uh, so this frozen wasteland, covered in the blood of the Draconis Combine pilot, <laughs> ejected from its helicopter. Uh, this was uh, this was a this was a tough one for. For the Lyran Alliance there. Yeah. This was a tough one. The Combine absolutely just like lightning raid Blitzkrieg style came in and just shattered the defenses uh, and they didn't even really have a prayer. So we went with a bit of a of an unbalanced force design. It was BB balanced. I, I want to say it was right around 4,500 points per force. Um, so fairly small scale. Um, you know, you had the three, you know, sort of tankier vehicles. I had the, you know, the three lighter vehicles plus the Shrek carrier. And then the, you know, the two, uh, the guillotine, and the Panther, you had a little bit of a lighter force, I think, but probably tonnage wise, point wise, it was all about the same. You know, my reactions to the, we were talking about this off camera, like the, the vehicles, right? Yeah. Um, so something like an LRM carrier in Alpha Strike is, is very, very good. Uh, yeah. Very, very good. Yeah. And, you know, it's something to be sort of reckoned with and feared. Here, uh, it's not as good. New. New. No. Not it's as good. good. Yeah, I just... Yeah. Either that or I just... I was rolling really bad. I don't... I mean, yes, I was rolling bad. I wasn't hitting my marks. Right. But at you the same not. time, I mean, like, when you have to roll for 11, 11 12, nines, 8... 11, 12, 11, 9... I right. mean, that's on the... The, the, the spectrum of not hitting more than it is on the hitting. Oh my God. The, the idea Absolutely. is 
to get into the you know the obviously you want the percentage to be below the seven exactly right. yeah right so. and, and we talk about the probability for you know for 2d6 like like a lot of people don't understand this but 2d6 is not the same as 1d12 like yes. you don't have an equal chance to hit every number you know? exactly um, yeah. you're most likely to roll a seven Yes. Uh, you're, you're equally likely to roll a 2 or a 12, right? Yeah. And you should Google it. It's interesting. So as you get up in those higher numbers, right, um, and you need to roll greater than a 9 or greater than a 10, like the chance to hit is very, very small. Um, I think, you know, a couple of reactions. Number one, my guillotine pilot needs a, a like a, a golden dragon medal or whatever. I don't feel like he does. He just it's, he he's wrecked shop. He's a hero yeah. of circumstance. He's a hero of circumstance. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you dishonor me? I mean, if it was <laughs> if there was a mech of equal fire capability, he's only five tons bigger than the quick draw. I'm not saying a, a fire capability. Okay, it maybe. maybe might have been a different story, maybe. but I didn't have anything that would be able to put out as much as he did. Between the Shrek and him, like you're lots of guns on the table. Yeah, you everything else you could have brought just infantry, and I would have still been scared. Cause <laughs> that's, I mean, you literally dropped 60, 90, 90 points of damage with the Shrek. This uh, entire brutal. Yeah, I mean, it's brutal. What is supposed to hold up to the that? The one hit roll for <clears throat> all three PPCs hitting is yes. ridiculously powerful. Yes, I agree. Similarly for the LRM carrier too, yeah. though. Like well, if you were landing them, yes. it would have been a lot better. Yeah. So a couple of things, if I can critique Go your for strategy. It, yeah. I, mean, I think we should have deployed your vehicles in the flat <clears throat> corridor here. Oh, I, I, put I your, mean, put that's why I declare over there. Turn two, I was like, I made a mistake. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Yes. <laughs> Other part that kind of, that, that, which I didn't know, um, learning lesson is the uh, indirect firing. Because originally my plan was to hold everything that back here. Yeah. And an indirect fire over it's not you. A, it's not as good. I didn't realize that either. Yeah. And, and that's the part where I'm like, oh, well, that kind of, that does hurt me. Especially with that. Like, if you didn't have yeah. the Condors, I probably would still have done that. Like, right. All right. Well, I'll just keep them on this side and just and fire just, over. Right. Um, it was interesting. I mean, it was a fun little game. It was certainly narrative and, and exciting. Oh, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I, mean, I, obviously I, I agree with you. Part. Like, it was like grossly lopsided. Yes. Um, yeah. I will say this: I can no longer play with the zero to four stock modifiers. All right. Don't hate me, guys, but you just miss more than you hit. Yeah. And then when you hit. It's like this, like glorious, like oh, I got this, like lucky throw armor critical, and like it's, it's, I might as well go play craps at, at like AC, <laughs> you know? It's uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I want, I want there to be reward for good tactical decisions, and not have to rely on like pinging elevens. Just a lucky roll. Yeah. Just a lucky roll. Because that's what it was. I mean, your strength was a lucky roll. You were supposed to hit on a white at eleven or a ten. You, ten you, or you something. Hit eleven, yeah. and it's like it's like thirty that's points. 30 and points I went, damage. I went through, and I went right torso, right torso. I did twenty points to the right torso, which is it, it's like. Yeah. And that's what I mean. Scoriating amounts of damage, um, you know, and that was it. And then I was inside. Yeah. But that's the other thing is, like, I, I know a lot of people are going to look at it when I did my my push, my my jump jet uh, attack on the Gein team. I knew I wasn't going to win. That's yeah. why I did it for narrative and or thematics and thematics or whatever. Yeah. But I, I knew. Cinematic thematics. I know this game isn't going to go on forever, and I get right. to go home and still be happy. Uh, good times, guys. Good times. Yeah. Well, uh, the griping is over, but classic is not dead. We're gonna no, continue. No. I think I think maybe Tom's lined up for the next one, so you can get a you can get a breather. I can get a, you can get a reprieve. <laughs> you can get a reprieve. Um, I'm still having fun. Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, I had some laughs. Uh, I, I yeah. I'm figuring it out for myself, like my own strategy, kind of. I, I mean, I just got very lucky. I think on a lot of like no, the, you the, the absolutely 100. Yes, you did really well with your rolls. Oh, thank you. But I, and I I I For tanked once. so many like no pun intended no like no three two oh, whatever all right well listen uh, we're all wrapped up couple of things number one uh, Aries games and minis don't forget to check them out uh, dice minis games all things all things all the things you all want for things. Battletech. Uh, secondly, Terrainify, uh, fantastic uh, purveyor of fine terrain goods. Yes. Uh, so another another partner site of ours. You guys should definitely check them out, terrainify.com. Uh, and of course, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like. I hope you've already left comments uh, about the range modifiers and all these other things, the, the controversial topics here at the DFA Studios. Um, <laughs> So definitely want to hear what you guys think about it. And, if, and let me know if you're enjoying Classic, uh, anything else you'd like to see. Um, and if you want to help out the channel, where do you go, Dan? Patreon. Go to Patreon, guys. That's it. 
Dollar a month. That's the minimum. That's all it takes. And you get so much. Dan, do you know we just gave away a regiment? Did you? For the Kickstarter. Oh. It's true. It's true. It's true. One nice. of our one of our patrons, uh, we had a competition. That was I was gonna say that it was, was actually it was actually publicly uh, available. So we had the competition out there. Uh, we had like a mission we mm. published, and they had to basically describe their mercenary unit and their force, and you know how they would how they would how their mercenary unit is the best. What they're gonna do. I want to like, read this. I want to. I know. Wanna, I wanna see what they're 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 all about. Yeah. What their yeah. story was. So yeah. it's gonna be good. Uh, I don't know. By the time this drops, we may have already announced the winner. I don't know. Okay. We live okay. in the, we live in the past and the future at the same time. It is weird. It is weird. Yeah. It is weird. So, but that's very exciting. But if you want to get in on action like that, guys, you can head on over to Patreon, and uh, of course, it does help us out. Uh, tremendously. So thanks to all of our wonderful patrons out there. They're I just awesome. want to say past Dan or future Dan, don't feel so bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> the Draconis Combine does not feel bad. <laughs> all right? You honorless Steiner pigs. All right? We just took it to you. All right? You thought we were like 3058, everybody was friends. Nope. <laughs> nope. My convoy. All right, well, that's it, Dan. As always, fantastic game, sir. Thank you. And guys, thank you for watching. Have a great night. Of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death From Above Wargaming. Gaming.